Yo guys, how are y'all doing and welcome to this video. Okay, so we're here today to talk about the man Alex Belfield. We've been here talking about him over the last week, but we are not going away because this channel is about investigation work and also reporting. We have two segments on this channel. We go out to different cities and different towns to report news and corruption which is happening in your local town. But we're also an investigation channel where we're investigating corruption. Alex Belfield is our first project, would you say? We're here to look at Alex Belfield and what's going wrong and why people are looking at Alex as a, a con man, as a scammer, okay? Alex Belfield is a man who is on YouTube who used to work for the BBC. We've talked about this many a times. However, he left the BBC or whatever happened and he is now a YouTuber. Alex, by his words, not mine, says you should not trust people who are asking for GoFundMe's and PayPal's etc. He even goes as far as to say, I will never ask my punters, remember he calls you punters, he will never ask my punters for a single penny. I tell you what, let's put that link in there, let's put that video in there now for you guys to see. Check this out. ...me for money to watch their crappy videos. You know, there's so many of them now doing all these podcasts and vodcasts, uh, live in my living rooms and all of this shit. Now, let me let you into a secret. If you're any good, right, you'll get enough hits that you'll earn a living like I'm doing through YouTube. I would never ask my punters ever to put their hand in their pocket. Thank you all so much for your generosity and kindness yesterday. We raised over £10,000. I beg you, do not give money by GoFundMes and PayPal's and all these other pledge sites. They're ripping you off. They're raping you of your dignity and of your purse. And it's shameful. I can't afford to do it by myself. It's going to cost a hundred to two hundred thousand pounds for this. So please help by donating what you can at the GoFundMe page. It will all be refunded if we win and the costs are returned. I won't make a penny out of it. This is not about me profiteering. Now, by his words, not mine, they are ripping you off. They are ripping you off. That's what he says. These people who are setting up GoFundMe's and PayPal, they are ripping you off. And he even says, I will never ask my punters for money. Alex, you're an hypocrite. You're an absolute hypocrite. So if everybody else is ripping them off, are you not as well? Again, I'll leave that with you. Now, let's move on to a little bit of a history lesson um, about Alex Belfield. Alex Belfield is, like I say, getting done for 12 counts of stalking. And here is the BBC article. Now, I just want to make clear, I don't know if he's innocent or guilty. Again, I'm not getting involved in that side of things. Even though we've been having a few people in the live stream trying to get me down that path so I can get say something wrong. Alex, you're probably innocent. How does that sound? All right, so let's get back to the reason why people are calling him a scammer and a fraud and a liar. As you guys have just witnessed and heard yourself, Alex Belfield admitting never to use GoFundMe's, people are ripping you off. Now, obviously, my question is, Alex, why have you said up a goal for me but anyway moving on alex belfield asks for one pound if everyone could just donate just one pound and that will help him take the bbc to court guys here is the evidence again his words not mine you can afford to help me put a pound in the account that's all we send it straight to henry bramman it's on account it won't be touched until it's needed if it's still there we can't give it back because of paypal it's too complicated hang on a minute guys let me just stop it right there didn't he just say he could give the money back? I can't afford to do it by myself. It's going to cost a hundred to two hundred thousand pounds for this. So please help by donating what you can at the GoFundMe page. It will all be refunded. 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 It will all be refunded if we win and the costs are returned. I won't make a penny out of it. This is not about me profiteering. Well, there we just have it. Alex Belfield had been quite clear that he's willing to give you the money back, and then he admits, "Oh no, we're going to keep the money." I don't know what's going on here, Alex. It seems like you make it up as you go along. It seems like you're lying to the public. To be honest, I, th I feel like you are. But the public seem to think that you're telling the truth. You know, everything you're saying is true. Well, I've got you out on about five lies so far, Alex. Now, let's move on to the court case. Now, I'm not going to touch too much on this, but let's just move on to it. His trial is estimated to take six weeks. Now, think about this. Six week long. If it's a witch hunt, why is there so much evidence? The reason why this event, I mean, this court case has taken six weeks is because there's a lot of evidence against him. But obviously, guys, we've got to wait and see and what's going on there. He's back in court on November the 4th. 
all right for a preliminary hearing this is where he has to set out um, the outline of his defense now this should be open to the public in person or you can request a zoom link to watch it remotely via the hmcts that's right the hmcts you should be able to watch this publicly um, but let's see if Alex mentions that to the community. If you've got nothing to hide, Alex, why don't we live stream it? Why don't everybody watch it? But we will see. Now then, let's touch a little bit on Jeremy Vine. Guys, I'm not a big fan of the BBC. I'm not a big fan of Jeremy Vine. I don't really watch him. I don't know much about him, to be honest. However, I do know the situation between Alex and Jeremy Vine. And let me go into it with a little bit more detail. And again, Alex doesn't really highlight this as much as it should let's talk about it you may have seen alex accuse jeremy of taking a thousand pounds license fee money for a radio industry piss up can you all remember this alex even encouraged his audience to phone the jeremy uh, jeremy show on radio 2 and channel 5 to ask where the thousand pound was all right guys so this is the bbc's freedom of information um with the understanding of what went on alex belfield claimed that jeremy vine spent a thousand pound on a piss up and he also encouraged his viewers to go and give jeremy vine grief and ask him where the thousand pound was this is what alex belfield did now obviously this is the freedom of information from the bbc and getting to the important part and this is where it is the bbc responded by saying like many radio organizations we contributed a thousand pound towards the cost of a memorial service for a significant figure for the bbc as well as the wider radio industry now this is the important part ready for this the bbc has also responded to similar requests since and confirmed that jeremy vine had no involvement with the bbc's contribution and he did not receive the money now put that into perspective guys that's saying jeremy vine had nothing to do with that thousand pound however alex belfield led his followers and the, the the supporters believe that he did and that's where the defamation case is coming in guys are you with me are you following me cool now this is where it gets real dark when alex revealed jeremy was taking legal action alex flashed some legal paperwork which contained jeremy vine's address this was seen by an extremist youtuber who was then posted videos repeating the address and encouraging people to go around to jeremy vine's house this is the same person who was so happy and glad that the mp david amos was killed this shows the consequences and the danger of alex belfield's behavior and his actions now guys i'm about to show you something which is so horrific you would not believe this man is the same guy who was goading people to go to jeremy vine's address because alex belfield leaked his address now let me show you this guys this is so wrong i'm so excited that mps are actually finally getting a blade in them because you know something it takes an awful lot for a member of the public to say, you know, I'm not so not to do that fucking to help me. Now, just as you think that is really bad, here is a tweet of that monster replying to Society X um, and why he thinks it's acceptable to cause harm to MPs. Now, Alex, I know we got a sidetrack in a moment, but Alex, this is the kind of people who are on the internet. When you're sitting there thinking it's all good and dandy, leaking people's details, addresses, etc., you need to think about the consequences. You've got to think about what could be happening. This is not a joke. This should be looked at, and Alex, you should be ashamed of yourself for leaking Jeremy Vine's address. Now let's not get this twisted, it was not Society X who said this, I don't want anyone to change this, it's clear, challenge the corrupt system, the guy with the glasses, he was the man behind this tweet, or, or this message, clearly it's Society X is challenging him, and saying what the hell are you saying, what's this about, but yeah do not get that twisted, Society X is a great guy, um, I know that for sure, but I know challenge the corrupt system, the man with glasses, who said this about the MP, um, and who said this about Jeremy Vine, he tried getting into the auditing game, but I think he just got chucked out because of his extreme views. This man should be locked up, um, but yeah, yeah, absolute vile, vile man. Now let's just get back on track regarding Alex Belfield. I have proven numerous times on this video that you've lied and you've the biggest hypocrite going. One minute you're telling us not to not to donate to people who has a goal for me, and voila, what does Alex have a goal for me? Then uh, I've now got a video to show you of Alex Belfield claiming that he wants your money to take the BBC to court. 
okay? And then when a man rings up and asks Alex, ask him pretty clear, Alex, what are you doing with the money? This is Alex's response. If you've got nothing to hide, why not just answer, eh? I can't afford to do it by myself. It's going to cost a hundred to two hundred thousand pounds for this. So please help by donating what you can at the GoFundMe page. It will all be refunded if we win and the costs are returned. I won't make a penny out of it. This is not about me profiteering. This is about me standing up to the bully BBC who want to wipe out people who want to expose them as the crooks they are, wasting our public money and bullying and destroying the lives of people like me. I and and the, is the money going towards the 12 criminal charges that have been brought against you for stalking um, or is it the defamation case that's been brought against you or is it in fact to sue the BBC? Yes well as you know we're not talking about that it's been given for legal and you're trying to be a smart ass sir and you know that we're not going to talk about that but thank you for bringing it up it has gone 100% to my lawyer as you well know Mr Cleverdick you're trying to be a smart ass like Boris and the problem is with silly voices like that it's a twirly by the way knew it was coming uh, we had one yesterday the reality is 100% has gone to my lawyers and you know what exactly what it's for and you know what exactly it's going to happen. You're going to get cut off for being a farthead. Thank you for your call. And So there we have it. Alex Belfield not answering the question. It's the same question I'm asking him. Is it going towards the 12 counts of stalking? Is it going towards the defamation? Or is it going towards suing the BBC? Because I know there's tons of people who have given you money, Alex, for you to sue the BBC. And now you're using it to get yourself off defamation and the 12 counts of stalking. That, my friend, is fraud and that should not be happening. Guys, that is it. We're going to wrap this one up here. Please don't forget to subscribe. We're doing our best to investigate. I ain't gone to university. I'm just putting things together for you guys to see with your own eyes. I ain't got an agenda. I wish Alex all the best. This isn't personal. I really do. I don't want... If I see anyone commenting in the chat to do with hurting him, going to his address, etc., etc., you will be banned. This is not about violence. This is about getting to the bottom of what I believe is probably one of the biggest scandals of the public has ever seen. Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, stay safe, and uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. Adios. I've noticed a pattern of these little mishkites, these little ugly fat gay people